This might look like a typical British seaside, but Jaywick Village is the most deprived place in the country. And today I've come to find out more about a project tackling fuel poverty in the area. The programme in Jaywick was to actually undertake a house by house, street by street property renovation to recover the building to the highest standards of energy efficiency and reduce the carbon and also add renewable energy systems. So uh, the, it was under the what's called the, the Community Energy Savings Programme scheme and involved uh, a complete house uh, energy efficiency uh, renovation programme. The measures that were included were roof uh, insulation, that's loft insulation, um, external wall insulation, which meant cladding the walls and, and making them um, keep any heat that was going to be delivered to the building inside, and um, window replacement, to the highest standard windows, along with a renewable energy system. It's classified as the most deprived area in the country. In, in Jaywick, as I call it there, basically, it, to me, it's one of the best spirits I've met anywhere, and I've lived a lot of places in this country there. They haven't got a lot, but they've got a great spirit. So this scheme, to me, that's what it's all about, giving something to these people who've got nothing, really. To me, it's, it's a fantastic for the area, you know, if you sit down here and you have to live here to see what difference it will make to their lives. Ice Energy is a company focused on delivering ground and air source heat pumps primarily and other renewables, solar uh, PVs and such like, in order to reduce carbon emissions and generally um, ward off against uh, energy prices that uh, were rocketing and have been over the past few years. What was clear, we saw that, um, that with fossil fuels being uh, less in supply and a greater demand, there was obviously going to be increases in their prices, um, meaning that it was going to be less affordable for people and renewable energy being um, a, a free energy source seemed uh, a very good direction to take ice energy in in order to assist people with um, their home energy uh, heating costs. The benefits of heat pumps are, are many and varied. Uh, they not only help reduce carbon on, uh, in the home, reduce running costs, uh, long life expectancy, very little service requirement, but for UK PLC, you have a great advantage by being able to use uh, homegrown fuel, if you like, that being the solar energy that falls on the ground and costs nothing, and, that, and benefiting our financials by, by way of balance of payments um, and not, not having to import other ready-made fuels. Coming to the house today, it's lovely and warm, mm -hmm. but it hasn't always been that way, has it? No, no it hasn't. It takes an awful amount of electricity to keep it warm, because I don't like the cold. But you used to get drafts, they used to get drafts through the front door, I don't get those anymore. And as I say, as I said to you, the heating I've turned down to half, and you can feel what it's like in here, it's warm. And I'm very cold mortal, <laughs> I really am. No, it's made such a lot of difference, such a lot. So what do they do? The, first of all, they take out all your windows and put the new windows in. So they came around in one day, took them all out, no mess. They came in, done it, and went away. Then they come and uh, two nice lads put up the boarding. They put up boarding. Then they put the insulation. And then they put like a plastic wiry stuff on it and they put the first coating of rendering on. And they do the, it's a air type of heating. Now the nearest thing they told me what it was, it's like a freezer in reverse. So instead of having the little motor going to make it cold, you've got this little motor to make it hot. 
Will that make a big difference to your... To your big difference, yes, because my place here, it's over a thousand pound a year. And as you can see, it's not the biggest, you know, so it's um, going to cut it down a lot. I had the heating on and I had it on in the bedroom and I woke up at four o'clock and I thought to myself, oh, I'm melting. So I just threw the day duvet off and I just laid there like it would summer on a hot day with a sheet. Did you ever do that before? <laughs> no. I, I put the electric blanket on and leave that on all night. <laughs> so, no way. The improvements that have come from the exterior cladding that Ice Energy have, have done for us is already making the huge inroads into improving the ambient temperature within the house without, and that's yet without the, um, the uh, air source heat pump kicking in as well, so hopefully we've cracked it. We haven't had a hot water system, like I said, for four years, now we have one. Okay, so that's, um, that's going to be an improvement, yeah. It's only been going for a few weeks, isn't it? You know, people are just mm. initially starting to get the outside cladding um, on and the heating system's going in. So I think it's a bit early, but the fact that there are people here working in JWIG is quite a thing to see workmen about is yeah. pretty amazing. Yeah. And some of the outside the houses are now looking really nice. And I think um, it will sort of bring the community a little bit It has done already. Close already. We are all chatting yeah. about There's it. But Ice Energy seem to be delivering. It's actually happening here, yeah. whereas before in the past that hasn't happened. It's yeah. good. And it's I good. think even um, when it was very cold, was it last year or the year before, there was a lot of snow. Mm. But you know, there were some people being actually admitted into hospital, little elderly people that were so cold, they're actually having to go into hospital mm. because the houses are too cold to live in. Mm. And um, hopefully that won't happen from now on if yeah. they get this work done. I think that's quite a significant mm. thing. That People aren't, you know, too cold to actually stay here over winter, mm -hmm. but that's their only home, so uh, that's, hopefully that will change. The houses in this estate were originally built as holiday homes, but it's streets just like this that Ice Energy are working in. Six months have passed and I'm back in Jaywick but the weather's slightly better to find out how work's getting on and revisit some of the people here. Let's go see them. changed since the last time I visited you? Uh, everything, everything, everything's finished, everything's done, I've got the heating in, all the new plumbing all through the place, a new tank, uh, lovely radiators, the shower is now a power shower which it wasn't before which is lovely and basically it's uh, absolutely brilliant the heating is more controllable and where people were saying oh it was the big thing that's outside that does the air thing you don't hear I don't hear it at all which some people said oh you might hear that buzzing all the time I don't hear it at all it goes on and off on its own it's just so more practical it's just lovely and is it much warmer inside the house yes yes it is warmer because it's an even heat all the time. You don't go like uh, when I had uh, the storage heaters in the morning, they were hot and you were hot. In the evening, when you wanted to sit and watch the television, you had to have a rug over your leg because they were cooling down. With them, it's just an even heat all the time, which is nice because you forget it's on. Well, I think this is better than gas central heating. Yeah, I think it's even better, yeah. And the insulation is brilliant because we never had the insulation on it. Um, what was it like before? 
before Ice Energy came in. The funding was never there to, to renovate the houses. A lot of the houses didn't even have um, running hot water, any heating um, or anything like that. So, you know, they can't believe now that they're, they're getting those things and getting them for free. It's fantastic what they've got. Nice warm homes, nice competitive prices, etc. But before they used to pay fortunes for a fire to warm their place and couldn't warm it anyway. But, uh, no, there are actually no complaints from anybody regarding it. They're just fantastic what's going on. I've had people crying in the office because they couldn't believe that it was true that it was going to be done. Well, I'm hoping because obviously this is on the uh, medical sort of grounds that we're talking about this uh, this deprivation where, where we are on the list that uh, it's there. But uh, I would think once these, these properties are done, I think it will take us out of that uh, number one position and uh, move it on to somebody else. And uh, and that's what I want uh, to see come from it. But I want to continue what's happening. It's very exciting what's going on at this moment in time. And what's been the effect on your life? What's the impact? Absolutely. You Fantastic. can't believe it. You don't, don't worry, worry now if it's going to, because you, you used to think, because like sort of, what, April time, you'd switch the storage heaters off because you can't keep them on because if you get a warm day, it's unbearable. So you switch them off and then you think, oh, you know, if it's a cold, then you think, oh, it's going to be cold tomorrow. You don't want to switch them back on again. So you've got to find all the little heaters and got to come out again. You know, it's and oh, now so we had much. the cold time, didn't we? And I turned the just thermostat turn up just a little bit. It's, oh, it's lovely. You know, you don't need to have it roaring away. Just a little and, bit of heat uh, there and um, it just does the trick. It's different with the hot water as well because we can have the hot water time to when we want the hot water. Unemployment is another big issue in Jaywick. What effect has um, Ice Energy had on that in the local area? Well, it certainly helped the unemployment because how would you say there's no work in Jaywick and them coming along, employing who they are, and the young people unemployed they've taken on as well and train them, which is the, the, the good thing about it because nobody's really got much time to, how would you say, train young people, but they've trained these young people there who are now working with them and uh, how would you say, I can only see that growing as well, which I'm, I'm grateful myself because anything that gets employment down here is marvellous. What sort of reaction have you had from local people since the work has been done on their houses? Very appreciative, you know, they've, they've come in and said, one person said that it's the warmest house they've ever been in in their life and they're about 75, so, you know, it's, it, it has improved the quality of their lives. Um, some people have not had a bath for a long while because they've not had the hot water. Um, you know, and the heat, obviously their health is improving as well because they've had so much damp in the houses down here for, from the, you know, the bad conditions that their health has improved tremendously because of it. So um, hopefully it will improve the attendance at the school and you know, because the children are, uh, are feeling a lot better when they've been able to sleep well at night and stuff. So, you know, it's, all round it's been quite beneficial. So overall the life saving mm. change. Yeah. Yeah. The area we're involved in, in uh, Clacton, started with quite a modest 200 properties, but ended up as 650 in total. There's been a significant reduction in people's fuel costs, which is important, uh, and a much improved internal environment for them to live in. School attendance has risen. There hasn't been any cases of people being hospitalised over the winter period as they had been previously. Property value increase has shown um, and I'd say all in all uh, a, a bringing together of the community because of people speaking to people that they hadn't spoken to before and, and people um, understanding other people's issues has been quite evident and really I'd say a prime example of how this sort of funding was intended to work. So as you've been hearing, hundreds of houses have benefited from Ice Energy's work in Jaywick, with £12 million spent developing houses in the area. 
To find out more about it and other similar projects around the country, visit iceenergy.co.uk. Thank you.